So, why is Helix my number one coaster? In this video, we're gonna find that out and talk about why it is my number one coaster. So, as you may know, Liseberg Amusement Park is my home park because I live in Gothenburg. So I live 25 minutes with the tram away from Liseberg. Liseberg is an amusement park that opened back in 1923. And uh, since then it has grown a lot and improved a lot of things. I, I wasn't even born then, but I, you can see it from pictures and that stuff, you know. And uh, back in 2014 was when Helix opened it, its gates or opened it like so people can ride it. So Helix is a Mac multi launch coaster or a double launch coaster, you can say. And considering one of the world's best coasters, coaster. And Helix is my number one coaster of all time. If you don't know what number one coaster means, if you're a GP, well, that means my favorite coaster that I've ridden in my entire life. And it's my like my number one in, my, in the list that I've rolled. So yeah, the count. And I, I have ridden like, I think my count is like a bit more than 12. I'm not even really sure, but I'm riding more and more every year. So why, why exactly is Helix my number one? Well, let's find it out. Helix is a really good ride because it, it, it like it has elements after elements, and it never ends. Like it's no boring part of the ride. You always, it always feels like it offers you really good elements. You get first out of a corkscrew. You see here the station, and then yeah, like you get out in a pre-drop, and that's so cool. It's not like uh, the other other coasters. You start off with a slow chain lift. You have to wait. This one just starts off with speed directly. You head out of the pre-drop with the station. If you sit at the back row, you get insane good airtime. Um, just so you know, and that's also why you, you you also need to be a bit longer, like taller than what you need to be to sit on the other seats. I don't know, maybe I think 100, 180 centimeters. centimeters. I don't know why it's like the seats are bigger. In my, I think yeah. So you get good air time going to the corkscrew and then uh, it's really nice. You already from there you start enjoy the ride directly, and then from nowhere like then you go in, into the first launch. Helix has definitely not the most for has not forceful r launches and they are not like even the acceleration is really slow but still not really slow. You still like you still uh, as soon as it hits the, the the launch your your body will still like push a bit in the in the seat back. Maybe a bit, but it's uh, they are still fun because they are quite fast, and you get into the into the second corkscrew, some airtime hills, airtime hump first, and into the pretzel loop. And after pretzel loop, you know pretzel loop is like a dive loop, and then into Emmelman, and the Emmelman in the pretzel loop is the most forceful part that I've experienced on any ride. I think one of them, one of them at least. And uh, it's really forceful, and that makes it that adds to the to the satisfaction of the ride. It's really fun, and then into, and there comes one of my favorite things about Helix. That's the airtime. Uh, the first airtime hill after the Prince Loop is actually good, but it's not them. It, I can't call it ejector airtime. It's a bit floater and near to close to ejector. You know, like you you fly off your seat, but you, you do it slowly and smoothly. Um, then you go into zero drill, which is really fast, and that's what I love with it. And dive in helix in the, into the helix left, and then you go into your second launch. Still not the most powerful launches, but still really fun, and it's faster than the other one because the first launch goes uh, about eighty kilometers per hour, uh, when the second launch goes in ninety kilometers per hour. And you go into that, and then you go into the tallest point of the ride, which is the inverted top hat. Wow, what a great, what a great <laughs> inversion. It's awesome, fits perfectly. Did you actually know that uh, it was supposed to be a twisted airtime before they set the, how it should be? They wanted to, it to be a twisted airtime hump. And that, so just, in my opinion, that will not fit at all. No, I don't think so, actually. The top hat fits perfectly. And that's when my favorite, one of my favorite parts come, and that's the airtime after the inverted top path. As you can see here, it's crazy. It's the ejector, like that's what I call ejector airtime. Like it's the most, eject, like the craziest airtime I think you can experience on our roll, because one of them at least, so good. Like you fly off your seat fast also, and you get some really good airtime, and then you get to the fastest point at the turn there into the S turns, though it goes where it hits 100 kilometers per hour into your small S turns, and then uh, you go into your heartline roll, which is the final inversion. And after that, uh, 
all the times after you, after you, when you hit the brakes, you get tears because of how fast it went, the wind, and the, you get really excited and you want to ride more and more. So Helix definitely a really good coaster in my opinion. And I, um, yeah, Mac rides does such a good job with it. They also said it's they it was a, uh, their best coaster, best multi launch coaster, and the, the best they have done so far. If uh, I hope it's still there, I don't know. Um, and also, where do I recommend you guys sit on the ride? Well. I recommend you sit on the front first and then at the back row. At the front row, you will experience like more. Um, how do you say? If you want to see the, if you want to get the view, and if you you want to get a wind, the wind like the air in your face, that's where you, when you have to sit at the front. If you want air time and more speed, or I mean speed from nowhere, sit at the back because the gravity like drags you down at the hills and. Uh, at the air time also, but if you want ejector, you should sit at the front. But you, if you sit at the back, you, you don't get ejector, but you get like you you will it will it's like the air time will uh, how do you say takes longer for it to complete, so uh, it'll be a bit scarier. But it's scary, it's the most scary when you sit at the front, I think. Yeah, so definitely recommend it. At the middle, I've I've ridden I think all the seats, <laughs> but uh, but I still prefer the front. If more, if I want the view, if I if I like want the view, and then back if after when when I when I feel I really need some air time right now, I'm bored. I need some air time. That's when I take the back row. So that's pretty much why Helix is my number one coaster, and I can't wait to ride it 2021 now next year, which is really soon. In 15 days, it's 2021. So uh, no, 16 days. So I can't wait to celebrate this with some fire fire uh, fireworks. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, can't wait for them to get the answer if uh, when when they are allowed to open next year. And finally, start off with my number one coaster, guys. So I, I definitely um, suggest you to ride it as well. You need to definitely to come to here to Sweden, Gothenburg. If you don't if you don't live here, come here one time. I think you should play out on your bucket list park. So they have some really good other coasters like Valkyria. They have they have a lot of good coasters and ride uh, flat rides as well. Really good selections. Alright guys, so that's why um, Helix is my number one coaster. I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe and turn on the notifications bell. And see you for a new video here on Coaster General. And uh, you can also go ahead and follow my uh, social medias like Instagram and Facebook. And I wish a great day and see you for a new video. Goodbye.